This channel sucks. Yeah, he like doesn't even restore anything. Oh. He just like cleans it a little and then says it's restored. He's just wiping it with a rag. That's just not very impressive. Oh. Fine, we'll do an actual restoration. So this is an old Craftsman 4-inch socket spinner handle. One of you mentioned in the comments of the last Thick Shorties video that this existed, and I remembered that I had one. It was pretty gnarly, so the first thing I did was use an alcohol wipe to clean all of that mold off of it. I cleaned all of that gunk out of the grooves in the handle. Had to use a toothbrush on this front part. The front part of the handle has a little damage. I don't know if somebody put a wrench on it or if it got melted somehow. Now as I'm doing this, you'll notice it does start to look really nice and shiny. But it's not going to stay that way. As soon as the liquid evaporates off, the plastic gets hazy again. But this is how we want it to look when we're done. So to make that shine permanent, we're going to have to bust out the sandpaper. I'm going to start with 1200 grit. Now I don't want to remove every single scratch on it because I think they add character. If you wanted to get rid of every single scratch, you'd have to start out with like 800 or 600 grit. Any scratches that don't get removed during this first step are going to stay there. What we're doing is essentially replacing the existing scratches with smaller 1200 grit scratches caused by the sandpaper. To get into the grooves in the handle, I just folded the piece of sandpaper up. The tip where it looked melted, I'm using a small round file to kind of reshape the grooves. I probably should have done this part first because now I have to re-sand all of those grooves with the 1200 grit. Here's what it looks like after the first round of sanding. It's looking much better. Now we have to jump up to 2000 grit. We want to turn those 1200 grit scratches we made earlier into even smaller 2000 grit scratches. Now I'm going to stop after the 2000 grit, but if you really want to get it crystal clear, like for a watch crystal or a lens on a gauge, you're going to have to work your way up to like 3000 or 3500 grit. Before polishing, I want to clean off the shaft. So here I'm very carefully hitting it with the wire wheel. You got to be careful when working around the plastic with the wire wheel. That's looking much better. When I flip this around, you'll be able to see the V maker's mark. That means that this was made for craftsmen by Moore Drop Forging, who later on became Easeco. I found an ad for this tool in a 1953 Craftsman catalog. It cost about 55 cents back then. To do the final polish on the handle, I'm using flits. Flitz works on most plastics. This final step is going to remove the haze from the plastic. Now I recommend doing this by hand. You can use an electric powered buffer to do it, but you run the risk of overheating and melting the plastic. To get the polish into the grooves, I wrapped the paper towel around a piece of cardboard. That seemed to work pretty well. And here's what it looks like after polishing. Some of the deeper scratches still show, and there is also a small chip in one of the grooves. But eh, it's a tool. It's going to get scratched up the first time you use it anyway. Here's the before and after shot. So yeah, a much more dramatic transformation. Craftsmen made versions of this driver up into the 1990s. Unfortunately, they're discontinued now. I looked around to see what other types of thick, shorty spinner handles were out there. I found this jaw-branded 3 8 drive one. I believe this was made by Jawco. They still list one on their website, but it says it's on back order. Vim used to make a set of locking short-handle drivers, but those are also discontinued. 
I found this Chad Level Nepros one on Amazon, but it's a little expensive. Has it also makes one? Still pretty expensive though. I found one on Top Tools website, but their tools are pretty hard to get here in the US. Same for this Facom driver. It looks pretty nice though. So those are the ones that I'm aware of. Let me know if you know of any other socket drivers with full size handles but short shafts. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos. Bye.